Okay, so we're trying a Greek yogurt version of the Basque cheesecake. And one of the parts that I didn't cover is you need to line the springform pan with some parchment paper and I got lucky the first time I did it and the second time I did it and I'm hoping the third time I do it I'll get lucky also. So try and make a base out of this and fold the corners into it so it will look like a semi cake cake form. So that's pretty good. <clears throat> oh, on the other thing is so overnight I overnight I strained the Greek yogurt, which was about 14 ounces. The recipe requires 12. And I got about let's see how many ounces of whey. Ooh, two ounces. What more? Yeah. About a little over two ounces. So I got this about right. And I'm going to go ahead and start blending the eggs and sugar. which would help if I had a blade and use the right top. You would think, as many times as I've made this, I would know the yeah, 30 seconds. And the cream and vanilla all at room temp. Let's get the vanilla. 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 Three quarter teaspoon. Doesn't have to be perfect. I like vanilla, so if we have extra. It's all good. Okay, that's the Vanilla, now, what? Oh, so I got this handy peanut butter scraper, which works. Actually, that turned out pretty clean. Well, I didn't want to use cheesecloth because I just thought of the waste of the cheesecloth, and it just gets nasty. Where a strainer is a little bit more, I don't know, cleaner? That's good word to describe it. Less mess um, and less waste. Of course now Betsy cleaned the floor and I'm making a mess. Yeah, this thing's handy to scrape out uh, bottles, bottoms of bot bottles. Yeah. Clean as you go. <clears throat> Dirty rag for something else. Save the way for Betsy for later for her smoothie. Mm -hmm. And process this. The good thing about using Greek yogurt is that this is automatically much smoother than cream cheese. Whoa, bro. What the hell is that all about? This is the flour and salt mixture. I should probably put that on. 30 seconds. Go ahead and start the oven, which I already preheated, but gotta heat it up again. 
Well, I think that's enough. Oh, you know what you can do? So you can use the scraper. <laughs> How handy is that? This actually works better than spatula, I think. All that goodness. <laughs> okay, now I'm making a mess. Okay, that's that. half a cup of sugar and that's what's going to ca cause the caramelization. It's not quite blended all the way. Okay, so this spatula slash uh, whatever you want to call it, bot bottom of jar cleaner works pretty good. Yeah, so I am scraping this. I'm going to have to stir the bottom of this springform pan because I didn't quite get... There's like just a few chunks of dry flour and sugar and stuff in there. And hopefully I don't screw this up. I'm determined to get every last bit of goodness into this thing. Okay. I'm gonna get ready to put it in the oven in a minute. So I preheated the oven and hopefully this corner is not going to cause a problem. Actually I'm not thrilled about how the mixing occurred, but we'll figure that out when um, how it turns out. Anyway, so that's 25 minutes. Hey Siri, set timer 20 minutes. So one of the things I like to do is actually use my watch to set timers and use it as a stopwatch to click. So I'll be back in 20 minutes. I know you know you're not I know you're not supposed to peek. I can just just barely, it's got two and a half, three minutes left. I can just barely see under the foil tent that I put on to uh, shield the heat from going over, uh, from uh, burning the top of the cake. I think it seems to be working. Two more minutes and hopefully it all be okay. Okay, so I'm making an executive decision with nine minutes to go to put foil on this so it doesn't burn. Let's see how that does. Okay, so we got 15 seconds left. 15 seconds left. Betsy likes to call this the easy bake oven because uh, it has a light inside. Ding, 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 one, ding. Okay, here's the grand reveal. Let's see if this works. And for once, I actually have oven gloves. <clears throat> Let's see how this works. Not bad, not bad, not bad. There's a jiggle. Yeah. I think because it's Greek yogurt, it um, is going to not jiggle as much. And 150, ooh, a little bit too hot. Oh, okay. Well, that's way too hot. I think because it's not as dense. Ooh, it's like 200 something. I'm surprised it didn't boil. Maybe reduce the temperature next time, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Let's check it out. It's heated up. We'll see. It smells amazing. Oh, that's beautiful. I love the surface. Funny. 
Oh my god, that smells I watched some blueberries. Okay, here we go. Send me into it, cross your finger. Okay, immediately it is <clears throat> consistency seems the same. Mm. Yummy. Okay. Okay, first bite. Mmm. That's delicious. It tastes like the other one. It's not as... Yeah. Maybe not as, um... It's a little denser, a little drier. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's way healthier, though. Oh, yeah. No saturated fat. I do like the cheesecake version better, but yeah. oh. this is still pretty good. 